X-Men 97, Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode's called Motendo Slash Life Death Part 1. Another episode I love. Spoilers for every X-Men adaptation, live action and animated, up to and including this episode. And the show is rated TVPG, somehow. So will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah... Um, this is the first of these where they tell two distinct stories in one episode. I was wondering if they were gonna cut back and forth between the two, but yeah, I thought it worked. Um, I don't think Motendo needed more time, and Life Death is just part one. We are getting more of that story, so yeah, um, the, I, I quite appreciate, you know, I think it is an important message, this thing of you can't get lost in nostalgia, which is fairly ironic for this show to point out, but, you know, it is true. It is important. I, you know, I say that as someone, I love video games. I've been playing video games since I was seven, more than 30 years. I can still acknowledge we got to be careful to not let it take over our lives. And I do appreciate by the end of the Motendo part of this episode, it's not saying don't play video games. It's just saying moderation. You know, by the end, Jubilee and her future self are still saying, you know, video games rule. It's not that. It's just that you got to be careful to not let it be everything. You know, don't. And they and they specifically say, you know, it can it's it's comforting to to replay things you already know how they go, you know. And let's see. I love that the video games really do look like it really did feel like the you know, Roberto and, and Jubilee were in video games, you know, at first they're on this narrow bridge, and a bunch of soldiers are running towards them in, like, this, you know, slightly awkward formation. It really felt like a, a video game. And I, it's been too long, so I can't quite, is, is that 8-bit or 16-bit? But it's one of those, you know, as we see, like, side-scroller beat-em-up kind of thing. Yeah, really, really cool. Great to see, you know, I'm always down for Sentinels. Great to see the, I forget what he's called, but the, the flying, ter the, I don't have to say flying, the, the pterodactyl humanoid, uh, you know, being who got some really great stuff in the original show. And, you know, here he's basically just there as a cool cameo, but that's fine. And we have the, um, let's see, um... I feel like there was one more. Right, and I appreciate that, you know, it is, you know, she gets to fight Magneto, who she is frustrated with right now. And I do really appreciate, I love the cut of, you know, t yeah, Jubilee says, let's hit the arcade, and then it shows Magneto, and he's like, really, you know, and then it cuts to, to Jubilee explaining to, you know, quoting Magneto to Roberto, and I can 100% see Magneto saying those things. And let's see, the, right, I like the extra life bit, and it does, yeah, it looks like an extra life in an X-Men game, so that was quite good. Really cool that we actually got to see the the wall with all the wanted posters. You know, the... the it, I guess it's not the exact same image, but it, it felt very reminiscent of the Days of Future Past, like, cover. You know, the, the, the full cover has, like, Wolverine standing in front, and... Uh, I can't believe I'm blanking out. Is it also Jubilee... It's it's one of the the younger female mutants. I think it might be Jubilee, you know. So yeah, very cool to see that. I really appreciate that, you know, they, they have Roberto, you know, express frustration in Portuguese. I'm so glad that they didn't feel the need to do a um this is America. We speak American here joke with Jubilee, you know. She being, you know, a, yeah, she is, like, Asian-American herself, so she would appreciate that that's not, you know. But, 
yeah, and I like her, you know, her line. I don't speak justifiably angry Portuguese, but I get it. You know, that was, yeah. Um, and, right, I like the thing about, you know, he's like, oh, I can't use my powers. What if someone sees me? And she's like, you really think everything's about you. And, yeah, you know, that is the thing for like rich people regardless of you know people of color as well as as white if you're rich you think the world revolves around you loved having mojo back and yeah he's he's every bit as like just <laughs> he's such a terrible person but the the let's see the the um yeah you know he's he has personality he is he is a memorable character and i appreciate the you know yeah in in the, in the 90s show you know it was very important to to talk about you know all the you know some tv just really rot your brain and then you have you know today yeah it's probably more video games that are really you know was the word he used mind numbing or some something like that you know yeah and let's see i think there was right i appreciate like i kept worrying they were gonna do a joke about mojo's weight like they comment on it but they never actually like say that it's bad that he's over like the closest they come is when roberto says i think his diet Failed or so, something along those lines, you know. But yeah, I I quite appreciate that. And let's see, yeah, um, this idea of you know, oh yeah, they created duplicates, and she ran the levels over and over, and now she knows them like the back of her hand, you know. That was legitimately quite clever and such a cool costume too and i think that's it for motendo which is a, a cute little you know it's mojo plus nintendo um yeah life death part one uh i have to admit i'm not familiar with i i can i understand i want to say it was nando v movies nando v movies who pointed out you know that's apparently a, a thing in the comics is life death arc um, I there's a lot of X-Men stories I do not know, but yeah, so far, really digging it. The, I, I quite appreciate this thing of, you know, he's, he is paying Storm compliments and, and, you know, trying to, to help, you know, offering good food and, and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, as she points out, at least part of this is he's trying to redeem himself. He, you know, and, and it's, it's one of those things like, it's not the crime, it's the cover-up. You know, if he had just approached Storm and said, I'm so sorry, I think they used my technology against you, but I can make it better. But instead, he swoops in like an angel, is like, I can fix all this, you know. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, so so devastating when she's, you know, she really struggling to, to try to control the weather. And we see a little bit of movement in the trees, and it turns out it was some birds that were, you know, uh, making moves to fly out of the of the trees. And let's see, yeah, um, the adversary. Holy crap! Very, very intimidating. Very intense. Yeah, looking forward to seeing more of of that individual. Uh, I think that might be about it. Um, yeah, I I thought the there were some really great things at the at the very start of this episode with the various X Men, you know, talking about you know Jubilee's birthday and yeah. Um, Gambit trying to flirt with Rogue and and you know Magneto's like oh I took care of that there. 
just yeah and and gambit tries to to regain a little bit of control over the situation oh well if you're taking coffee orders and he's like no around here i give the orders <laughs> yeah you're going to have to it's difficult to outmatch magneto in a game of wits and let's see Right, I appreciate them letting a character age. There's, you know, and and it is a fun. Like at the start of the episode, she turns eighteen. And later in the episode, she meets a version of herself that's older than that. And I do also appreciate they didn't feel the need to make any, you know, mean spirited jokes about. Oh, look at how old this person. Is. You know, she's like she she says, you know, I got wrinkles, I got a little bit of you know white hair, but they, you know, she's actually extremely capable and this is you know we got we got to get better at treating uh, you know senior freaking citizens better and i think that might just about cover but yeah i i like that you know after you know for for several episodes jubilee has been the one to try to bring roberto into the x-men world and in this one, you know, she's venting, you know, she, she's still treating him well, but, you know, just, I, I appreciate the, the give and take, you know, it's not a one-sided relationship. I think that might be, I feel like there's one thing I'm missing that I wanted to comment on. Uh, hmm. Um, right, yes. Uh, the adversary feeding on misery. You know, that does... It, it feels like... Uh, basically like a mythological being. Uh, yeah, quite love when... The... the when, when comic books... You know, take something that feels like... You know, it's a, it's a universal kind of story. There's, you know... A number of different cultures that have stories about something evil feeding on negative emotions and experiences so yeah quite appreciate that and I think that might be right I like that <laughs> so Mojo took out the what was it the the tech support team because they couldn't get rid of the bug and now they're not around to deal with the bug